Hello, hello, and welcome to At Home with Lucas. So today we're gonna to be talking about Fitbit, and in particular, we're gonna talk about their Ace 3 Special Edition, Minions Edition. This is the Kid Fitbit. I have purchased this for my three-year-old toddler. So in this video, we're gonna be doing a hands-on with the box, quick unboxing and first impressions on said Fitbit. After that, I'm gonna be slapping this bad boy onto my toddler's wrist and see does he keep it on his wrist. He may just rip it off. Then we're gonna put this to the At Home with Lucas test to figure out is this something you should buy or skip altogether. I'm here for you so you don't have to waste your time buying and returning. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy right quick. So at the top left, you have the Fitbit logo with the Fitbit name. Of course, this is designed for kids who are six plus. My kid is gonna be about three, but I'm gonna attempt to use this with him and just see how he actually likes it on his wrist. He may completely reject it, pull it off, and it may be something that he can't use, but nonetheless, we're gonna get a full review out of it. So there's an image of what's to come. You have the cute little guys right there. This is the Ace 3. My kid is almost three years old, so it's kind of funny that it's called the Ace 3 Special Edition. Oh wow, this actually has a little pull tab. I'm very happy with that. It looks like it has some clickies. What? Good job, Fitbit. Wow. That is very nice. I like that a lot. Start guide right here. Yes, this is very important. You want to make sure these are 100% charged. All right. Look at this. That is very cool. Good job, Fitbit. Very simple, very straight to the point. You have all of the stuff down in here. And then of course you have the watch right there. That is really cool. Let's go ahead and put the watch aside. Take a look at all this in here. Of course we know, once again, we're gonna get a weird charging cable. This is what Fitbit loves to do. <laughs> And this is the strangest one I think I've ever seen. Wow, look at that thing. Only two pin charging right there, not a three pin. That is very, very interesting. Let's take a look at the creme de la creme, people. Very cool. Look at this thing. Wow, I really, really like it. Okay, so right off the bat, the inside is like a soft touch rubber. It's not grippy at all. It really feels like it's going to be comfortable on the wrist. And it's made out of this like super flexible rubber. I'm going to try to show you on camera. Wow, look at that flex. That is moving a lot. That means this thing is designed to last and not break because we know kids are good at one thing and one thing only, and that is to destroy and break <laughs> at least my my little boy he is uh he's an expert at that but he really puts things to the stress test and that's that's what this is all about is he's going to get his hands on it and if he doesn't break it then this thing is very solid my kid is oh that's interesting there's three pins in the back i'm a little bit confused on that and then there's two pins on the charger right there hmm really strange i knew fitbit was always a three pin uh system that is interesting maybe the middle one is actually a magnet of some sort i'm not sure okay so on the back you have all of your sensors right there okay so let's continue to walk around this looks like it's a capacitive button fitbit has removed all of their physical buttons so no longer will you push something in it's merely a sensor that is waiting for touch and then it responds oh, it's turning on there it is Ooh. Okay, so that screen is way smaller than I would have thought. Look at that. That is just a half. That's basically half of this overall shape right here. So that's very interesting. Um, a lot of knockoff fitness trackers will do the same thing where that they make you think that you're getting this whole entire display, but in reality, you're just getting a little square on the middle. So that's really interesting. That's already a little bit of a uh, little bit of a slight, but nonetheless, um, it is a display that is designed, you know, for kids. This looks really interesting. I'm wondering, let's see. Oh, okay, this just slides off. There we go. And then you push it out of there and do that all right okay so this looks like it's a little bit designed to be put on a kid and not necessarily for a kid to put it on um 
this definitely looks like something if I put it on my toddler, he's not really going to be able to just rip it off or figure, maybe not even be able to figure out how to take it off, which is good if you want to track your kids uh, steps and whatnot. But of course, toddlers are going to be moving their arms in weird ways and you're going to get steps and other things counted that aren't necessarily accurate. So I would wonder if they had something built into this to counteract the weird movements that kids make to not give false steps but we'll see once we get it strapped to his wrist of course i will be putting it on my wrist to test little things here and there as well to give a full comprehensive review for you guys all right so yeah so first impressions are this band feels really really nice the display is a little bit smaller than i would like but i won't know until i get into it um it's interesting how the the strap connects to this rubber piece here i'm wondering if that is like designed to take a lot of stress because that's where bands typically break is right there so very very interesting i love the fact that the band is completely like gummy and rubbery so you can really flex it really stress it um, of course you can take the fitbit out of here i believe okay it doesn't come out as easy as i thought and that's actually good because you don't want your kid to be popping this thing out but um oh maybe it comes out the bottom okay it comes out the bottom come on now silly so it comes out the bottom just like that and there you go you have your little fit bit this is the bit the fit is what you put into it people all right let's take a look at the band without the actual fit bit okay so there's little notches that stick out yeah they stick out and they lock they stick out and they lock into those slots there. So that makes it way, way, way more secure. I'm gonna just blindly slap this in. Okay, it goes in really easily. That's not bad. So once you do put this on your kid's wrist or your kid puts it on himself or herself, they're not gonna be able to pull it off out the front. So that's really important. You don't want your kid to get into a habit of pulling this thing out and losing it. So the only thing you're gonna have to worry about is if the kid does take it off the wrist and pop it out that way. So maybe just don't show your kid that it does pop out that way because you do not want them to get into a habit of pulling it out because it will get lost or flushed down the toilet or in the trash and you'll never see it again. All right, coming up, we're gonna put this to the test. I'm excited, woo! Hey, what's up guys? I wanna talk about a sponsor that I have for this channel. Don Pablo Coffee. Yes, people, Don Pablo makes an amazing variety of coffee. I actually went down to Miami, Florida and modeled for his bourbon infused coffee. Yes, people, they have bourbon infused coffee. This is coffee for the people who don't even like to drink coffee. This is coffee for people who love to drink coffee but are bored of the normal coffees. They have single serve bourbon infused coffee. They have whole bean bourbon infused coffee, not to mention all the other varieties they have. They are a small batch coffee roaster. Now you're probably thinking, what does that mean? What does it mean? I'm going to tell you a small batch means you're going to get a fresher bean. Yes, people, everything they roast is roasted smaller, which means you're getting a fresher batch. All the other companies roast in ginormous roasting contraptions, and that means you're getting it less of a fresh batch. So click the link down below, go buy some amazing coffee, and let's get back to the video. <laughs> okay, so let's jump into the Fitbit app and get this ACE 3 set up. First thing you're gonna wanna do is click on your little profile picture in the top left corner then you're going to want to set up a my family if you haven't already go ahead and click on that you're going to set up an, an account for your kid I've already set one up for my boy Alden I'm going to click to switch account right there and then this is going to get me into his account which is going to allow me to activate the ace 3 on it there you go, you click on set up kid friendly device, ACE 3 kids, set up ACE 3 for Alden, very easy, click on that, put in your password. This is gonna show you how to snap on the charger. Once you do, you're gonna be able to find your ACE, put in your pin code, very simple. And then you're gonna wanna try it on. 
And then this shows you what I already showed you earlier, how to take it out very easily and put it right back in to swap the bands. Okay, so this is where it gets a little bit confusing because it's going to show us something on here that I have not been able to find, and that's exercises. I believe they removed it since making this um, instruction right here. So you can see there's messages, exercises, relax. None of that is on the kid edition. You cannot go through any of that. I wonder if that's for maybe kids who are older than my kid or if you activate this as non-kid account. Okay, so I put it on my kid's wrist and he immediately wanted it off and was about to throw a fit. I've tried it several other times. He's not really a fan, but of course, he's a little bit too little for watches. I mean, he can't even tell time yet, <laughs> but nonetheless, it's a good watch. Okay, so one really important thing to note about this Fitbit is it does not actually have a heart rate monitor that's on it does have a heart rate sensor in the back which this fitbit will use to track your kids activity and give you a score right there so as you do as your kid does any kind of activity running around doing exercise or whatnot it's going to show on the display right so you cannot actually see the beats per minute or anything like that it's something that you really need to understand if you're an adult out there and you're trying to buy this for yourself because it's super cheap know that you won't be able to actually read your heart rate but if you do any workouts like I've done you will get your uh, points on there and that'll tell you a little bit about what you actually did that day so it's very very similar to my Fitbit Sense so very accurate the heart rate monitor of course is very very accurate Fitbit puts the top of the line heart rate monitors in there um, but yeah, so I wanted to make sure everyone knew that before they were buying it. This does not have an active readout heart rate monitor. It does monitor constantly, but it doesn't give you a readout, not even on the app. Okay, just did a 45 minute beach body workout. This watch here was tracking my heart rate and everything even though it doesn't have an active heart rate monitor meaning you can't read the heart rate but it tells me that I did 32 of their active I earned 32 of their active points so that basically means I did a workout for X amount of time so now I'm going to compare this to my sense watch and there we go 33 so it's very accurate this watch right here is extremely accurate I fully trust it so that means that activity tracker in this watch is spot on. Okay, so this is kind of cool right here. If you hold down on the two buttons on the side, you can actually get into water lock mode. And this is so if you are going into water, like a bathtub or you're going swimming, and you don't want the screen to start acting all weird, you can just double tap. Okay, so there we go, it locked. So here we go, it's locked for water mode. Now I'm gonna double tap, so there we go, now it's unlocked. Okay, so there you go, that's how you turn on and off water mode, so if you're going in the bathtub or you're going swimming, that's a cool feature to have, I like that. Okay, one thing that I found out is there's no standard Fitbit exercise mode on this watch, which means you can't set it to run and then go for a run, or set it for swim and go for a swim, bike ride, whatnot. And I think that's because this is the kid edition, and what they're saying is we don't want a kid to turn on a run and then let it just run in the background all day, kill the battery very, very fast, and cause a bunch of trouble. So I think what Fitbit has done is they've allowed it to all go into the background into an auto tracking. So if your kid starts to run, it's going to activate onto here. And the main idea is how many points did they get? How many minutes were they actually active that day rather than what did they actually do? So they removed that um, feature and um, at least that's what I found. There's, it's not on here at all. So 
definitely, definitely take that into consideration if you're looking, uh, you know, for a seven-year-old or eight-year-old who's actually able to turn on and off the um, exercise tracking. Maybe this is not the one for them. Maybe go with a different Fitbit. Okay, so I've been using this Fitbit long enough that I think I have a full comprehensive review for you guys. So one thing you should know right off the bat is that this screen is extremely small and the fact that it's not colored is kind of strange. When you're dealing with kids, kids love color of all ages, especially when you have a band that is this colorful and then you give them a tiny, tiny little display in the middle is a, is a little bit, of, it, it's strange, it's very strange. And then the fact that you have like literally maybe, I think there's like eight different watch faces to choose from, all of which have some giant um, image and then the time and then you have little tiny um, step counter and whatnot. So the display is a big, disappointment right off the bat and you should know that before you buy this that you're not getting this entire screen right here this is not an entire screen and it really should be only about an inch tall but they have to pack in some more features into this watch so it's a little bit longer than it should be so i think that's where this is really going to come back to bite them it's not a colored display it's not a big bright display and it's kind of uh disappointing and then you have the easy swipe it does have a very good touch screen it's very um responsive and it's fast and it does exactly what you want but i think a lot of the stuff in here what six-year-old is going to be setting a timer or an alarm or you know the it's just i don't know how much this is designed for kids i think this is like a step towards kids and i think really what they're trying to do uh is sell different bands so that's something they're very adamant about is yeah take out the fitbit and buy a new band and just keep buying more bands um i also think that the button is the buttons are a little bit strained to pinch the fitbit to get it to turn on and turn off so the haptic feedback is really really nice it's a very soft vibration it does exactly what you'd want it to do and if you set an alarm on it and you told your kid when it goes off the vibration will start and blah 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 um so yeah so screen not the greatest um uh, step counting pretty good I was actually impressed it's very accurate it was actually as accurate as my Fitbit uh, sense right here so that was really cool comfort level this thing is so so comfortable your kid is not gonna have a problem wearing this thing I love the fact there's so many different positions to um, tighten up the, the watch so you don't have to worry about your kid being a you know an in-between size you'll find the right notch for your kid and lock it in and uh, the only thing I don't like is that this whole band feels like it's something that a parent is going to have to do especially for a six-year-old I would imagine a parent is gonna have to put this on and I think this is really designed for parents to basically put this on their kid and just say hey don't rip it off um, and most kids will probably just be like, it's colorful. I don't care that it's on my wrist. Uh, my toddler did not care that it was on his wrist for a few minutes. And then he kept saying, all done, <laughs> which is his way of saying, I want this off my wrist. So I had to pop it off. So know what you're buying. You're buying something that's cute and colorful. Uh, the band is phenomenal. I give it a solid five stars. The display, I'm gonna give a three and a half star out of five. I'm gonna say this could be so much better. I wish it was twice as big. I wish it was colorful. Um, and I wish it just had more kid-friendly things on it. It's not <laughs> really designed at all in any way for kids to feel like they have something cool on their wrist. There could have been some cool game on here. I don't know. I think that this is a little bit of a rush job by Fitbit and I think they could have done so so much better uh, charging on this thing was very very easy and I really like the way that it really locks into place so you don't have to worry about your watch falling or, or having a problem yeah so charging was pretty fast it would charge up really quickly battery life on this thing is great when you have a display that small with that um, 
uh, with no color, this thing's gonna last forever. So I, I was definitely impressed with the battery life. It was exactly as advertised. So that's a big thumbs up. So my main gripe is just no color on the screen and the screen is a little bit too small, but all in all monitors on here worked exactly as you'd want them to. And that was really cool. The shape of it is actually nice. It really can fit onto a small wrist very easily and it doesn't feel like something that's too big. It's also very, very lightweight. If I compare it to my Fitbit Sense, it is like a quarter of the weight, which is also great for kids. So all in all, I'm going to give this thing a solid 4.2 star rating. I'm going to say that for kids, it might be the five star uh, watch that you want it to be and you need it to be. It may be perfect for your kid. It may be perfect for your situation. But for me, I can't give it that five star approval. I'm going to say I, I can't wait for the Ace 4 because I know it's going to be that much better than this one. So if you want to hold off and wait for that, if you're not in dire straits with your kid and you don't really need to have something that is uh, pertinent right away, then wait for the Ace 4 special edition, kids edition. But yeah, all in all, I'm going to say that this thing is a great stocking stuffer it's a great um, buy for anyone out there with kids and I'm sure that once you start to use this or the person you bought it for starts to use this they're gonna find more and more fun things that they can do with their kid with the watch and so on and so forth so it's probably something that you know you start to buy them a watch at a young age and then by the time they're 10 they're super into the fitbit and they're super into trying to stay a little bit healthier than their counterparts <laughs> counterparts than their friends <laughs> yeah so there you go that's the review definitely worth a buy definitely a great gift idea and a great stocking stuffer for the holiday seasons that we're in right now people all right thanks for watching All right, there you go. That's the Fitbit Special Edition. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely click it and clack that like button. And if you wanna join the At Home Lucas family and you wanna be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I get a boost to make more and more videos. And it's because of you guys, I surpassed 3K. Yes, people, on my way to 4K, but I need your help. Yes, you right there. Tell your friends, tell your family, this guy's on YouTube. They should go subscribe and watch my channel. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.